Wood stoves are essential to many homes as a source of heat. They function independently of electrical or gas lines and are often much more affordable to operate than fuel oil or gas furnaces. Wood stoves are also beautiful and warm, a social and cultural part of many civilizations for hundreds of years. We asked ourselves the question, how can we use a wood stove to do more than just provide heat? And the stove light was the answer to that question. If you live in a very cold climate, chances are you are using a wood stove to heat your home a lot of the time. The stove light allows somebody that's off-grid that has a wood stove the ability to power or illuminate their room without having any other electric source. My name is Jason Orzel. I'm a mechanical engineer. I've uh, worked on the development of the stove light with uh, several other people here. We were trying to think of a product that would uh, fulfill a need for these people that are off-grid and the first thing we thought is maybe a, a simple light. Um, even having light in your house is difficult when there's, <laughs> when there's no power. We uh, started looking around and trying to find where there would be uh, waste heat in these homes. Um, and the first thing we saw was the wood stove. Um, and uh, so we came up with a prototype for a lantern that uses um, waste heat from wood stoves to create um, a light source. Well, a lot of people around here use wood stoves uh, five, six months out of the year sometimes. And uh, there's a great source of heat there that we could use to uh, create some electricity. Your lantern's there, you start your wood stove, and you've got some charging capabilities and some light. My name is Dan Poitrast. I'm a design and electrical engineer at TegPro. Um, basically, what we have been developing is a stove light, which is this right here. Um, basically, what this thing is, is it harnesses a thermoelectric generator, taking the heat from a wood stove, harnessing it with our boost circuits, and then creating light from our remote phosphor LED here on the top. It's based off a of Peltier junction, um, which classically is how they've been used. What you're doing is you're pumping heat through this Peltier junction, and when you pump heat through it, part of that heat is transferred into current flow within the device, meaning you get voltage out. So the, the more heat you can get through the unit and dissipate out, the more voltage or current you'll get out of the unit. My name is Scott McGrath. I'm the product development supervisor for the stove light here at uh, TegPro. We got really excited when we heard about the concept of generating electricity from heat. And we wanted to develop a really simple yet very practical device. The stove light is as simple as it gets. You place it on a hot wood stove and it lights up. In our small Vermont town, it's very cold about four to five months out of the year. A lot of people run wood stoves to heat their home for most of the day. And the stove light makes a lot of sense. It's something that makes useful light and power the whole time your stove is running. We're going to offer two versions. One is going to uh, basically provide just light output, which is extremely convenient and majority of what I use it for myself. Um, the other version is going to have a battery in it and it'll be able to charge up on the wood stove um, and we're going to offer some accessory products uh, like brackets and trivets and you'll be able to take the unit off the stove and put it on your kitchen table on top you know of a trivet so it won't burn your your uh, tabletop but it'll allow you to to charge it all day and then illuminate a different area of the house at night and it'll have dimming control and a USB port on the top if you want to charge your cell phone and they're not just a, a novelty product they're they're a product that I think the vast majority of stove, stove owners are going to want. We're really hoping that a lot of people will be as excited about this technology as we are and help us bring this dream to reality.